Hey, what's up guys? It's Pablo from Seed Visual. Today, we're gonna talk about the Tesla Model 3 cameras. But first, check out some of these sweet shots. So the Model 3 has eight exterior cameras. You've got three front-facing cameras. You've got one camera on each of the front quarter panels, and then you've got one on each B-pillar, and the final one is on the trunk lid. So the exterior cameras are used for a bunch of different features, mainly autopilot. Uh, you have things such as forward collision warning, lane departure avoidance, you got blind spot detection, you also have obstacle aware acceleration. If somebody's gonna rear end you, the car is gonna accelerate. Pretty sweet. But there is one final camera, one that isn't really talked about much because it's really not in use yet. It's the one on the interior cabin that faces you. As far as we're aware, Tesla hasn't even turned those on. So for those of you concerned about them invading your privacy, don't worry, that hasn't been done yet. We'll see about later though. Up until now, basically everything is speculation, so take whatever I say with a grain of salt, but uh, speculation is saying that the interior is gonna be about uh, your car knowing who's driving. Currently, one of the issues that I experience is my wife and I, we share the car. Uh, she's a night shift nurse, so she drives it at night, and then during the day, I drive it. So one of the problems with that is that each time we get in the car, uh, we have different settings. The only way to change the setting is to push your name and then select who's driving. Uh, but, you know, it would make more sense if it was based off of which key card you're using or in our situation it would be which phone goes in the car. That's not the way it works. So, um, the camera in the interior, the whole point of that is to make that functionality a lot easier and that way you don't have to select which driver's driving. That way you can get in the car and just drive right away. So, something to think about is that there will be a camera that is watching you in the future. Uh, when they first launch it, I assume that it's only gonna be paying attention to who's getting in and out, that way you can adjust your seat settings. But ultimately, when you're doing things such as autopilot, or say you're driving and you're distracted, when you get into an accident, there's gonna be a record of exactly what you were doing. So, you know, in the end, you are sacrificing some of your privacy in exchange for new technology, which for me, that's a pretty easy swap. Uh, you know, when I'm driving, I'm pretty focused on the road. There are times when I'm distracted, but you know, we all are in the end. And uh, ultimately, I think it's a feature that's gonna help me have a better and safer overall driving experience. So hey guys, that's it for today. Uh, we really appreciate you watching through this video. Uh, anyway, if you're new to the channel, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos when we post in the future. I'm going to put this in autopilot so uh, I can talk to the camera. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, much love, and I appreciate all your comments. Thanks. Peace. Yeah.